The following is a production of the University of Minnesota, driven to discover. Well, greetings, everyone. This is David Arendelle, and I'm your host for PAL Groups, which looks at study group programs to help students get through really difficult courses at the college level. At our campus, we call it PAL, Peer Assisted Learning. It's not a unique name for our institution. I'm at the University of Minnesota. I'm an associate professor of higher education and history, and I'm in the Department of Curriculum and Instruction. This is our second season for the a podcast. The first season featured a number of interviews with students who served as PAL leaders, and I highly encourage you to listen to their stories. They're relatively short, and they talk about what it is that they do during their PAL sessions with other students, and also what they're getting out of it personally. Their stories are really quite remarkable. They were doing things inside of their sessions that we had never trained them to do during our training programs. They learned on the fly. They learned from each other, and they were exceptionally bright students. So one of the things that we do is we do interviews with students. Well, there's a couple other purposes for this podcast. Another one is that we'll be doing interviews with people who supervise or manage peer learning programs at other colleges. And my goal is to have not only those from the United States, but also those from around the world. Because I read the literature of how peer learning works at other institutions in other countries, and it's really quite fascinating. Frankly, there's wonderful practices that we need to exchange with one another. Another. So first purpose is the interviews with students. The second one will be interviews with the lead, the managers of PAL learning programs. A third purpose is for me to share about my research. That's a big area of interest for me. If some of you know part of my background, I used to help direct the national dissemination of supplemental instruction, which is the largest peer learning program here in the United States and operates on probably about 1,500 or more college campuses in the U.S. and more than 40 countries around the world. So that's another thing that I like to do is share about the research that I'm reading. I also want to be able to share print materials with you as downloads through the podcast. One of the things that I learned from one of the other podcasts that I run, it's called Historic Voices, which features great speeches uh, by people uh, from the past century. Well, sometimes I would put up the transcripts or I put up some information handouts as uh, PDFs. I found out that people were downloading the PDFs more often than they were downloading the audio episodes. And I started to figure out that Maybe people sometimes would prefer reading content versus listening content. So you're going to see that throughout the year, these downloads of the uh, documents related to training manuals, uh, articles that I have written. And then finally, uh, the last purpose for us is just simply to be a feedback system for you as listeners. We want to hear what it is that you would like to share through the podcast. We'd like to feature your voice. So if you'd like to be a person who's interviewed for the podcast, well, that's another purpose for us, too, because this is a learning community. I've got some things to share. Some of our people at our university have some things to share, but also you have things to share as well. I mean, that's what really builds a community. So that's really it for this uh, podcast episode. Just wanted to provide a quick overview. Always go to the show notes. Uh, Go to palgroups.org. That's our website. All one word, palgroups, P-A-L-G-R-O-U-P-S dot O-R-G. And you'll see all of the episodes that we produce with this podcast and sometimes I have links in the descriptions for the episodes to other resources. 
So I highly recommend checking that out in order to see other resources that are not going to be provided through the downloads or, frankly, to get right in to the materials that are on the website that I have, I maintain. I have a website, arendale.org. If you end up going across the menu bar across the top, you'll see lots of sources of information. One of the things that I try to do is be a good listener and a good reader. The things that I share are frankly things that other people have developed and have shared with others that I've learned. And that's the reason why I'm always a learner in this process. It's a great privilege. It's a privilege to work with the young people at the university who serve as these study group leaders. It's fun to see my colleagues from other institutions around the world sharing what it is that they do. So please join the community and we'll join ourselves again here really soon for another audio podcast episode, but also look for those PDF downloads uh, for you to be able to consider downloading too. Thanks a lot for listening. Look forward to having us join us again next time.